In this video, we are taking a look at these, the awesome looking ASICS Trilusa 14. Noosa HQ. I'm just undoing the shoelace on my 14. The amazing thing with these shoes, because they're like for triathlons, you can literally just slip them on and slip them back on again, which I wouldn't recommend doing, people, because you do ruin your shoes. But oh my god, these are so comfortable. Right, okay. 14th version's out. Uh, we've got 13 here. Uh, we're going to talk about the differences between the two. I'm going to let you know uh, how I've been getting on with it. We've gone. Pfft, over 20 miles now in the shoe. Uh, I'll explain why that is in a mo. Um, but let's do the stats and features quickly first. Okay, people, so yes, this is the Trinusa 14, the new version of the uh, very popular uh, triathlon ish shoe um, from ASICS. It's very funky looking, as you can see, and they do some amazing colorways in it. It's kind of uh, an Evo ride ish. Uh, if you think about the road running shoes but the idea is is that it is a tri shoe so you know all the different activities in the triathlon uh, and you can wear this sockless it's comfortable to wear it sockless uh, we've got five mil drop in the shoe i got this with my own money for under 100 pounds here in the uk uh, we've got flight foam uh, midsole we've got a nice rocker in the shoe uh breathable-ish mesh upper full length gusseted tongue uh yeah full length gusseted tongue uh weight 8.1 ounces in uh, uk nine and a half so what's that 300 grams it's a complete guess uh, actually it can't be 300 grams could be less than that um what else what else what else oh uh, so uh, again very similar to an evo ride in terms of the rubber uh coverage on the is it a hard plus doesn't say actually probably should have checked before we did the video but we've got a decent rubber coverage on the outsole uh what else with the shoe fits true to size and uh it's nice and wide if you've got a wide foot yeah and i think that's probably about it in terms of stats and features now if we compare the two shoes uh, can you see can you see what the camera close um very similar ish uh, slight detailing changes to the back i've lost the pull tab and i would say a more traditional looking shoe is that the right word but it definitely feels more rockered and it definitely feels softer than that version uh this is not a soft shoe in any shape or form the flight foam midsole is not soft but it definitely does feel softer than this version now I got this shoe mainly to wear uh, for non-running activities. I ran in it a few times, did a few part runs in it, but I basically saved it because I just loved living in the things and they're just so comfortable. And that's why I wanted to grab 14. And 14's taken uh, off exactly where that one left off and it's just so comfortable to wear for those day-to-day -day miles. Now the shoe uh, has done a multiple of different activities, I would say. Um, it's topped out at 10 miles at the moment in terms of distance um, for length. Um, not overall, I said I've done over 20 miles in the shoe, but uh, I've not really wanted to take it past 10 miles. Just seen no point in it really. I've been using it for easy work, faster work, um, progressive work, just a bit of everything. And that's what's so good about this shoe. It really is one of those that you can just stick on and go out the door. It's so comfortable, and because of the sort of, yeah, relatively light weight of it, with the slightly firmer ride and rocker, it's just, it's just a pleasant shoe to wear over those sort of three to 10 mile runs. It's just effortless. It's so comfortable as well on the inside, uh, and I say where they've said about my, um, with the sockless. And now I've not worn this sockless, okay, just as a bit of a spoiler. I do plan to do that when I go on holiday, but, um, yeah, at the moment I've not worn it sockless, but it is comfortable. It just, it's got a lovely step-in feel to it. You just slide into the shoe and lace them up. And off you go, or, you know, just don't bother lacing them up like I haven't been. Uh, but the, uh, the overall fit of the shoe just feels great. And again, it just takes off from this shoe. They're just really comfortable daily trainers. And now, they're not marketed as daily trainers. Yeah, they're marketed as a try shoe, but you can do everything in it. They say the only sort of sticking point I would say to you, if you're considering it, is it is on the firmer side. 
Um, so that's something to think about. With a, with a daily trainer, you probably might want something that's got the option to go longer. Uh, you know, you might need to do 20 mile runs in a marathon training block, and this wouldn't be very comfortable to do that in. I think this is a good addition um, against uh, other shoes, like, you know, you've got your race day shoes, you've got your long run shoes. So think, let's stick with Asics, Metaspeed Sky Plus, Glidewide 3, Noosa 14. That would be like a perfect rotation if you was really, really into your Asics. And at £100 on a discount, for me, it's a no-brainer. So that's where I'm at, early doors, I uh, love the colourway, I've also got a pair of socks that match this, which is really, really important to me. Let me know in the comments, do you match your shoes and socks together? Uh, but I'm really happy with the combo I've got, and if I'm wearing these shoes, I'm waiting for those socks to be washed uh, by Mrs Ford, because I'm so lazy that I don't wash my own socks. I probably should do more washing around the house, but anyway, that's another subject for another video. Um, but yeah, I just I just love this shoe. It just maybe it's the vibe of it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about it. I just these shoes with these colorways, they just make you feel awesome. And for me, you know, that's that's 99% of what running shoes should be about. Do they make you feel awesome? And both of these do. Right, so that's it. Um, I'm going to come back. We'll do a performance review. Um, yeah, I don't know how long that will take. Want to get it well over 50 miles. Come back, report back, let you know how I've been getting on with it. Um, yeah, so at the moment, I can't sort of recommend it enough, but it's obviously just over 20 miles. So let's see how we get on with it. But if you are looking at it, personally, I'd, I'd really recommend it. But don't pay the full price. Make sure you get it on a discount somewhere. Okay, that's it. Try and lose a 14. I think it's worth a look at these early stages.